<laughs> You've been busy. Yeah. It's a good thing. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, hey, sorry. I just, I just, I'm, I really, uh, from South Florida too. And I was going to add to that because like from the, from just to add to what Michael was saying too, just from experience and from knowing like Nikki and Michael, uh, Tara and, and some of the people, some of the artists and um, creators that creative creatives that we have down here in Fort Lauderdale and Broward County. Um, I feel like we like you're already doing placemaking. It's just a matter of right now during this time is how do we think about three dimensional placemaking or like four dimensional placemaking um, because we have a unique ex experience going on that we have to be virtual um, and virtual is a space. Uh, it's a place. Um, and so it's just kind of like translating those ideas and then not necessarily getting to the big like theory parts of things because those are really not applicable to a lot of us in terms of the material realities that we live in, but rather, hey, we don't know what's coming after. So it is very important that we come together, connect, connect to the people that we're already connected to down here in South Florida um, and really try to galvanize some of those connections to be able to to continue to make plays, whether it is physically um, or and at both physically and virtually, so that so that then the um, so that we're continuing to combat the 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 forces or systems that are have gone us to where we are today, right? So in a simple like way, a lot of people right now that even those that are kind of like naysayers and really don't want to hear those things right now, even just saying like we don't know what's coming after. And we got to figure out what with what we have with the infrastructure and champions and leaders that we got in place and coming ways to coming together and, and building a place that is safer than where we are right now. I feel like that's where the power that all the creatives in South Florida have right now. You have the, the, the youth, you have the, 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 ma the mind, the way of, of explaining things. And it's a matter of, of connecting to those other thinkers, analytics, like, like, uh, like Brie was sharing the, the hats and all that to really bring those pieces together. And then the, 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 the statements and the policy and the, and the language that could help establish those things more long-term so that then when other things happen, uh, much more of this is, is done. Wow. And, and who, who, your name, we don't want to lose your name. I, we don't see you on the, on the screen. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, it's just very dark. And, see, and uh, my name is Areli, A-R-E-L-Y, Lozano, L-O-Z-A-N-O. Uh, and I'm down here from uh, Broward by way of Mexico. Um, wow. Very, very, uh, very happy to be here and hearing all this uh, wonderful stuff. Thank you. Wow. Well, you, you, are, you are an example of um, the wonderment that is out there, that, that, that the connectedness of what we're attempting to do is all about. Um, your fresh ideas and thoughts go into developing critical mass and and we can't get enough of that okay there, there's... no don't let don't lose don't let lose your uh connectedness <laughs> yeah, so, so we, we need to make sure that everybody stays connected going away from this because we're building the knowledge map if you will and it doesn't stop just because the uh earth day event is over we want to continue that relationship so that we build uh, something that's not only sustainable but 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 active and and growing. So so, so let me let me jump in for a second too. God, it's great to hear your voice, Aureli. <laughs> um, and and uh, I just sent you a message on the side. A part of what I'm hearing, I, I, I'm hearing, uh, well, of course, a bunch of stuff. But one thing I want to call out is that it's becoming evident to me that we're this this dimensional conversation is that what we're doing now we have to kind of call a place this digital meeting thing that we yeah. do and i don't think we've actually uh, ever really stepped up and said well and so when you were asking about that and i was at first michael saying well what does that have to do with placemaking and then i went well Okay, so that's that's part one. Um, the the other part is just as an add-on, a little bit of a sidebar, but it, it supports what you all been saying. I had a conversation today with a somebody that I met 
through Placemaking X out in Portland, and she's an artist working in affordable housing, an artist in residence. We had an hour and plus talk about all kinds of stuff. And one of the things we decided at the end of that was there are a lot of art practitioner placemakers in urban and rural communities working on uh, housing sites and, and, and communities that uh, are under a lot of pressure. And we decided we're going to start a subgroup uh, just for the artists and real creative placemakers to come together and, and talk about that part of it. Because the thing is that, that um, where you fit in, Michael, placemaking has um, a whole bunch of facets. There's a big wheel. I don't think we have it on this board, but it impacts health and equity and the arts and culture and historic preservation and public spaces and the economy and and all that there we go so um that's a thank you monica look at and i was spitting off some right some wrong but see all, all, all these things and Aureli uh spoke up what she didn't tell you is that she's really a, a public health practitioner she's super creative but her work, like mine, led her into health equity, and she's doing research work and a bunch of really cool stuff. We did a three-year CDC project together. And uh, so uh, to, to, uh, we, we, need to, we need to look at the big picture, things like a declaration, and, and talk to everybody to be inclusive. When we started, one other point is the group and Monica, I think you'll bear me out. The, the first working group that we had had folks from a lot of different backgrounds, from from finance and and from the equity space, and Nikki from the arts. It was a small group, but very very broad and diverse. It didn't start with with a narrow, uh, one sided look. At least I'd I'd like to think it did. No. Yes, it did. Can I actually add something regarding art to the, uh, in terms of a resource that's really helpful? Is there's a website um, called animatingdemocracy.org, and it's um, a program that through the um, um, National Endowment of the Arts. And I actually have been teaching every summer for the past five years a. Uh, uh, class through the um, um, Artist as Entrepreneur program in Broward, um, a class on arts and civic engagement. And Animating Democracy is numerous case studies of artists doing place-oriented projects that relate to health, that relate to racial equity, that relate to the environment. Um, but they're all creative people from visual arts to theater to music, etc. Um, often doing very place specific place making kinds of projects but using arts as the vehicle to bring people together or to bring awareness about a particular topic but that might be a really great um, resource for anybody who's interested to, to look at because they have okay. uh, many studies from across the US is there anim animating democracy animatingdemocracy.org Okay, I'm going to check that out. Thank you. Extremely. I have, I, have, I have to tell you, what you're saying is very personal for me because a lot of what I'm doing is for my son. I figure if it works for a, an about to be 10 year old, it'll work for other kids. And I can't get him to come participate right now. And I think a lot of kids are feeling that way. And I know he's going to come do it when he's ready to emerge and I'll be ready for him. But what I did was I asked him if he would build my, I said, I think we're going to, instead of just doing like classes in a workshop, we're going to build a school. So I asked him to build it in, um, Minecraft. Will you build me a school, design me a school in Minecraft? Because I said, then the kids will just show up, right? He's like, yeah, if it's in Minecraft. And so we're going to go in Minecraft and do some paper folding classes and some animation classes. And if they can, use, if they want to just use Minecraft, to do, that's fine. So I think that for me is how it's like personal or hyper local, if that was the term. But like, if, we, if I can design a school, then I can, sh we now, because of these tools, this tech, and, and if we can get free internet to everybody, then they can get it too. They can come into the classroom. And, and my son can design something and then another kid can design something and they can get 
girl could share it with us. So is that what we're talking about? Like literally building spaces and I should just consider my program a place now. Yes. Like, okay. Yes. yes. We're going okay. to rethink um, the experience of school. <laughs> so you're on the right track, it sounds like. If you're already doing those things that are the far reaching elements and you're doing them for the right reasons, which, which when things become capitalized, become the wrong reasons. And it's the naturalness that you're delivering in terms of open proposition with your son. Uh, that's yeah. Out outrageously courageous. But, well, but on a selfish level also, I'm trying to find, like I have a friend who's uh, sick mm -hmm. that I wanted to play, that was playing music with and we were writing and I, he, I can't go see him. So I said, I'll come to your parking lot. Well, I'll stand in the parking lot, but that's not going to be realistic frequently. And I was saying, how can we, how can I collaborate? And then I went to look and now, so I opened up to Facebook and there's all these jams going on. People, people are finding ways, but some of them work and some of them don't. And I'm just interested in how, not only how an artist does it, because artists find a creative way, but this is like, this is like official. You guys are talking about designing like cities and stuff like that. That's very overwhelming. But like the idea is if, if there's something we could contribute at the beginning, then maybe it could like grow as, as a seed and then you don't have to like guide it. You just like become something that takes off. So I, 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 would, I would contribute whatever I can. I think we have to program everything from the ground up big, to begin with anyway, all over again. When it becomes organic, then our job is just to feed the fire. Um, it, and really in this moment, we can see the, the development of that, 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 that speaks for itself. Um, the longevity of it will be determined by how well it works. I wanted to add a little something. Well, I wanted to have some comments of what 